Good morning, YouTube. Um, well, it's actually not even morning. I don't even know why I'm saying that. It is early afternoon on a Sunday, and I wanted to sit down and film a video today. Um, I had two ideas on some things I wanted to talk about. Um, the first thing I'm going to kind of do in this video is I'm going to show you guys some of my little like hacks and tips for taking progress pictures because I actually made a post about this um, earlier this week. I'll put it up here. Um, essentially, it had a lot to do with like how to master the lighting in your progress pictures. Um, and then I got somebody that asked me if I could like make a video on it. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, there's not a whole ton I could talk about, but a couple of things I do want to like tell you guys about um, how I take progress pictures because let me tell you guys there is nothing more frustrating than as a coach than getting progress pictures that like you can't even see anything on like you can see like the silhouette of the body it's like at the end of the day if you don't send good quality progress pictures then your coach can't really make the necessary adjustments and not only that but I know back in the day I used to send like crappy progress pictures like really bad but I also lived in a college dorm, so I didn't have like the ideal setup, but it's kind of annoying because I look back at those and like it's really hard to see anything. So it's really hard to make like a good like, transformation post nowadays because my old progress pictures were so bad. But anyways, so I'm going to show you guys that first and foremost. And then I'm going to actually talk about in this video, like how I got started with competing um, and kind of just how I got into like the fitness and bodybuilding um, world inside of things. So stay tuned. Um, thank you for joining and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. All right, peeps. So first and foremost, let's chat about progress pictures, like I just said. So I'm sitting down because I wanted to show you guys two things. Um, and honestly, all the stuff I'm about to say can apply to whether you're a bikini competitor or whether you're just a lifestyle client. Um, so, but the first two things I will say are pretty like, well, I guess one thing at least is very um, typical for like, it's only gonna apply to a bikini competitor or a competitor is make sure you have the proper shoes. Taking progress pictures with shoes on and without shoes on, um, like when you look at the difference, I think it truly does make a difference as a competitor. So as a competitor, as soon as you know you wanna compete, um, you know, when you're sending progress pictures to your coach, at least this is what I require of my clients is, I always like to start having them send me their progress pictures in heels and in their poses because, you know, it, it really does make a difference and it helps me to like see their physique more what it's going to look like for stage purposes, right? So get a pair of heels, make sure you're taking your progress pictures in your heels. If you're not a competitor, there's really no need to do this unless like you want to for some reason. These are the Shoe Fairy um, Olympian heels. I do have a discount for uh, for them that is always in the um, link below in the description box, but these are really awesome, awesome heel options. But anyways, not the point of this video. The next thing I want to recommend, and this could apply to lifestyle clients as well, because I have gotten asked, I, and I do have lifestyle clients who will do this, is get a posing suit or have like your go-to outfit that you wear every time in your progress pictures. So what I mean by this is try not to wear something drastically different every time. Now I understand every once in a while, like you may be traveling or you just have to throw on something really quick to take your progress pictures. But I find that it's really helpful when you have something to consistently wear every time. So I have this Angel Competitions bikini posing suit. Um, again, I have a, a discount code for them. It's always in the description box, but not the point of this video. Um, even if you're a lifestyle client, I mean, this is essentially, it's just a bikini. Um, if you're a lifestyle client and you want something cute to take your progress pictures in, it's not a bad idea. I have some lifestyle clients who have one of these actually. So, um, but it's a specific, specifically important, I think as a competitor, um, I really recommend a posing suit um, because as a competitor, like not to sound all like creepy, but as a coach, I can't have you wearing like Spanx or like, you know, like uh, Nike Pro shorts, right? Because I can't see the glutes if you're wearing those. So the bikinis from AC Bikinis, the posing suits are really perfect because they show exactly what I need to see as a coach, um, you know, in progress pictures. So those are two things I recommend. Now, secondly, let's talk about lighting. So the lighting is going to be huge. So when I'm actually, I'm filming this video, I have floor to seal ceiling windows right in front of me. So I have the camera facing me and the natural light is face, facing me. Notice I don't have any windows behind me, nor do I have any windows on the side. If that were the case, I would look very washed out and wouldn't look as bright. 
Now that is gonna be tip number one. With lighting, make sure that when you're taking your progress pictures, you have the natural light source in front of you. Don't have it to the side of you, don't have it behind you, have it in front of you. Now, the next thing is, a lot of people or somebody may say, well, let's see, I don't have a natural light source or I take my progress pictures when it's still dark outside. In that case, I would definitely recommend getting a ring light. I do not personally have one, so I can't show, um, but you can just hop on Amazon, get a standing ring light, so that way you have like a fake natural, or not natural, but a fake light source coming at you to take your progress pictures. Because at the end of the day, I, as a coach, get a progress picture that's like super dark and washes out the physique. It's, it's not helpful at all. I can barely see anything from the pictures. So lighting is going to be key. That is my biggest tip when it comes to progress pictures and, and something I find that a lot of people don't, don't realize is always have the natural light source in front of you. You just have to find that perfect area in your house. You may have to get a little creative. I certainly do. Um, like I have to like move little things around um, to prop my phone in the perfect area, but it's worth it. Um, so that leads me to my second thing. Now I live alone, so I obviously don't have anybody to take my progress pictures, but that's a-okay because you can get creative. You can find something to prop your phone on and you can just take a video, take your progress pictures in the video, um, like hit your poses and screenshot the progress pictures from that. Now, I will say you can use your front camera if you would like, but I would recommend using the regular back camera just because the quality is a little bit better. So that's like tip number two. I still get like people sometimes that are like, oh, I'll send you my progress pictures later. Or my husband is at home to take them. And I'm like, just prop your phone up somewhere and put on a video um, and do not take mirror pics. I have people like sometimes that will send like pictures of themselves in a mirror. Just prop your phone up somewhere you guys. Like on, like I've literally propped it on like a full cup. You know, anything that it'll prop up on, you could even get like a, um, you know, an actual tripod to prop it up on. Um, but that is gonna be tip number two-ish. The last thing I wanna go over is, this is particularly for a bikini competitor or a competitor. But when you are taking progress pictures, angle your phone. Um, like don't take your progress pictures straight on because you want to take your progress pictures thinking about how the judges are going to see you. And the judges sit a little below you. So place your phone, I would say like, but like around like where your knee falls, a little above your knee. Don't take your progress pictures head on because like I said, it really helps to take them angled a little bit below. Um, that way you have the judge's perspective. So. Those are my tips for progress pictures. Um, hopefully those were helpful. Like I said, most of them apply to anybody, regardless of if you're a competitor or not. So if these tips are helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any tips too of your own, please put them in the comments below. But this will not be the end of the video. I'm gonna come back in another clip and we're gonna talk about some, some fun stuff um, as it pertains to my history and how I got into like the sport of bodybuilding and just fitness in general. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, I am back. It's still the same day. I'm just uh, wearing something a little different, but you know, hair is as always still in a bun. Um, the reason I wear it in a bun all the time, you guys, is I just like, well, I don't know. It's just convenience, but I find I get so like frustrated when it gets all like tangly and in my face and whatnot. But anyways, I digress. Let's chat about my start um, into the bodybuilding world and like, I guess just how I got into competing. Cause I get a question, get questions a lot about like, how did you get started? Like, when did you do your first show? So just to do a little backtracking, um, I did my first show in, I believe it was 2018. It was the Orlando Europa. I actually just for good sake brought out my first piece of hardware. Um, and I, I think it's funny cause like, I feel like you don't find a lot of shows these days that actually hand out trophies um, because I got fourth place, but I believe top five got these little trophies. Um, so yes, I did the Orlando Europa in 2018. I think it was in like April. And then I did my second show of that season in June. Um, and then that's when like between those two shows, well, not between, between those two shows, after my June show, after those two shows um, is when I took like my two, three year hiatus. And that's when I didn't even compete again until this past year in May. I competed this year, past year in 2021 in May, in July, and then August. So I've competed a total of five times. and. I guess I just wanna chat a little bit about how I kind of started, you know, competing and like how I got into it. So 
I am from St. Louis, Missouri, so I'm from the Midwest, and I don't find that bodybuilding and competing is very big there. Um, I, you know, I was into lifting before I came moved to Florida, so I went to the gym there. But you know, you don't go to the gym there and find a lot of people that compete, or like I, I knew one person that competed, um, and that's about it. Like it's just not very big there, right? So I didn't really know much about it, and never had considered it. And then I moved to Florida. And I moved to Florida for school and um, I didn't actually train at my rec center. I trained at a gym here in Tampa that was like within walking distance. Um, and I always like, I was getting asked like, do you compete? Do you compete? Do you compete by all these people? And I was like, no, like I, I don't compete. Don't really know anything about it. Um, and you know, either people would be like, oh, okay. Or they'd be like, oh, you should like, you should do it. You look really good. So then I got told that enough where I was like, you know what? Maybe I should, maybe I should do this. So. I, um, I knew this guy at the time and he was friends with a girl um, and um, I, who I actually had already followed and I really admired her and um, that's who I hired as my first coach. And again, I didn't really know anything about the sport. I really didn't. I, I thought I knew some stuff, but like I knew nothing compared to what I know now. Um, that's why I think it's so important as a first time competitor to hire a coach um, to guide you along. Cause you may think you know a lot, but you really don't, you don't. Um, so that's kind of how I like got the idea to compete. Um, I did my first competition prep while I was still living in my college dorm. Um, I remember bringing it up to my parents and I sent a picture um, of my coach at the time to my mom because she was also a competitor, not my mom, but my coach. Um, and my mom was like, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Like, yes, I'm so excited for you. Like, I'm excited to see you do this. Um, and like, that's just kind of how I got into it. Um, you know, just because I was told like and asked so much when I moved down here, do you compete? Do you compete? Do you compete? Um, it's just, I do feel like I, I live in Florida and it is kind of, it's bigger down here, bodybuilding in general. Um, like you go to the gym, depending on what gym you go to and you do come across like people that actually compete or who bodybuild whereas at home I didn't so I didn't really know anything about the sport so that's how I originally got into the sport of bodybuilding and then the reason I took like such a long break between my first two shows and then the shows I did this past year was I definitely you know i probably didn't do like I, I don't know I definitely feel like I stayed stage lean for way too long after my second show but I also got very lean and my mom was really scared by that um and you know what she has every right to be she's you know mama bear and i was still very young i was a freshman in college um and so like there was just you know i was living at home after my second show because it was the summer between um school and my mom was just very worried about me and so i just kind of was like promised to her i wouldn't compete um and so i but i still continued to live the lifestyle um and then flash forward to this past year and i decided to compete again i was terrified and so nervous to tell her I was doing it again, even though I knew I was doing things this this time around, like, you know, just knowing a lot more and I was going to do things in a very, you know, as healthy of a way as I could. Um, and thankfully she was super supportive, but I was super nervous to like tell her I was going to be getting back on stage again. Um, so that's how I got involved in, you know, that's how I really got into like competing and bodybuilding. And honestly, I find that when you compete, you're constantly learning. Um, you're just constantly evolving with the sport and you have to, right? Like I follow this sport so closely. I go to as many shows as I can, even if I'm not competing in them, because I think it's just important for me as an athlete and a coach to just stay as involved as I can. Um, you know, I'm always watching live feeds about, you know, um, reflections from past shows, things like that, right? I just have really immersified myself in this sport since then. And I've learned so much and I've just fallen in love with it. And I, I love now that I get to compete Compete, but I also get to coach my own athletes. So that's really fun. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to discuss in this clip. I don't think I have any other lingering thoughts um, like about how I got into the sport or anything. Um, but yeah, it just it honestly just stemmed from so many people asking me because I would say when I moved to Florida, um, I was obviously I was pretty muscular. Like I definitely looked like I lifted I didn't just look like an average Joe on the street so that's I think why so many people like saw me and they asked if I competed because I kind of looked the part like I wasn't stage lean but I kind of looked the part I had the muscle um so that's why you know I guess I got asked and then it just kind of flourished from there but I still can't believe I competed in my first show while living in a college dorm room and honestly I could do a whole video on prepping in a dorm room and I'm talking like not an apartment style dorm a triple with like a room with two other girls it didn't have a kitchen like it was it was just didn't like I shared a bathroom with five other girls 
it was not ideal, but I could do a whole other video on that and like talk about college hacks as well, like how I utilize my meal plan and all that. So if you're interested in that, um, comment below. I'm happy to do that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm curious to hear if you guys watching like who are competitors, how you guys got into bodybuilding. If you have any like kind of funny or fun stories, um, just comment them below. I'd love to hear. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, please like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. Um, um, and I'm always willing, you know, to do videos you guys want to see. So if you watch this video, you have an idea or something in particular you want to see from me um, on YouTube, comment below and I will put those into a list and I will get them done. So please like, please subscribe. And yes, I hope you guys are having a good day and I will catch you in the next video.